Hi, everyone, and welcome to Crypto Channel Direct. I have a special guest with us today. I have Daniel Chudy. Now, Daniel is the Senior Scientific Researcher from Concordium. And Daniel and I are going to be speaking about and discussing the science behind consensus in blockchain. Welcome, Daniel. Thanks, Claire. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, I know that you have a really extensive background in cryptographic research. So, Daniel, I wanted to start actually by asking you, where do we use consensus? Well, consensus is at the core of every blockchain out there. In a nutshell, we use it to order transactions. And so, of course, we want that this works even if some of the parties misbehave. So the honest parties should agree on the order of those transactions. Now, we know such protocols since the 80s. What is special here in the blockchain setting is that we are in the permissionless setting. That is, we don't know really how many parties are out there. Great. So, Daniel, what properties do you expect from a good consensus protocol? So here in the in, in blockchain setting, we are interested in essentially two properties. One is called safety and the other one is lifeness. Now, uh, safety essentially means nothing bad happens. So, for instance, the honest parties should not disagree on, on the order of the transactions. Then we also have lifeness, uh, which, which says that it makes progress. So if you have a new transaction, it will eventually be in that order. Then I also wanted to talk, Daniel, a little bit about the challenges of designing consensus protocols. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So the main challenge, I would say, is that you, had a, you have a lot of choice. Meanwhile, we know a lot about consensus. So essentially, you know, you, you, you can make trade-offs. You can say, OK, we can have a protocol which is really resilient against corruption, but it might require a strong network assumption. On the other hand, there are protocols which tolerate you know, worse network conditions, but unfortunately, those have less corruption tolerance. So now the question becomes, what do you choose? Here's where science comes in. Thank you, Daniel. You kind of summarized everything really, really great. Um, thank you for joining us today at CCD. Good pleasure. Everyone, if you'd like to find out a little bit more about Concordium's research and technology, then do go to concordium.com where you can find out everything that you need to know. And don't forget to like and subscribe us and uh, let us know what you think of this new format as well. We try to keep it to five minutes because we think that that's the time that everyone has in this day and age to, to, to use, uh, to take out of your, your day. So uh, do let us know what you think. I'm Claire Ross-Brown and I'll see you very soon.